What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be replacing these air vents here and the reason for that is because I was checking these vents out the other day um, the up and down moves fine but if you look inside when you slide this lever left and right you can't see the vanes moving like you do on this side see that and the reason for that is because this clip here the back of it has actually broken off the plan here is to replace this whole air vent section here the center armrest actually slides forwards so what we'll do is we'll slide that forward slightly and the purpose of that is so that we can get our fingers around the back of this console fascia just checking where the seam is so that's the top part freed up All right, I had to reinforce it a little just this right hand side so there's three clips at the top um, that holds on the leading edge which mates into the top edge of this and then the reason why the bottom was so difficult to pull out was because of these four um, clips down here this air vent fascia is held on now by a couple of electrical connections there's a little tab here and then you just press that tab in Pull out the connector, cigarette and light to socket connection, same thing, press the tab down, pull it out. Let's see if we can do that on camera. There we go. Freed the console, yay. Air vent console on the bench. Let's flip it over and see what's going on in here. So here's the air vent. And it looks like there's a couple of torque screws holding it on, so we're going to need to take those out. So there's a Torx here, and here it's a T20 Torx head screw, button head. So let's undo those. Alright, so we've got the two. T20 torque screws out but you can't just pull this thing out because there's a couple of clips here that's actually holding the bottom in so I think what we need to do is try and free those and then the thing should hopefully swing out from the bottom yeah there we go and here we have it so you've got the vent out, two clips at the bottom, levers out, anchored in by these four prongs at the top, and for anyone who's interested in part numbers, there's a label on this side, and there's also another label here. But yeah, so I've actually ordered a replacement vent for this, not an OEM one. It's actually one off AliExpress, and I'll chuck the details up on the screen. Um, oh, by the way, I couldn't find, uh, when I took this out, this little air vent piece, um, control piece, had the back to it. So there's the back piece here that clips in to the little control paddle. But what's missing is the long piece, the fin that comes out. 
that controls the um, the left and right veins. So I figured the easiest way would be to just replace the whole air vent assembly. Um, so here's the original, and here is the AliExpress replacement. I can already see some slight differences. The original one's got a matte finish on the um, air control, and the AliExpress one has got a gloss black finish on there. Um, paddles look the same, bolt holes look the same. Um, the undersides look identical. Um, disturbingly, the AliExpress one actually has some VW logos and some part numbers on it, whereas the original one doesn't, um, which is quite interesting. So one of the differences between the original unit and the AliExpress unit is these tabs here. So the original one's got them much lower and yeah, if you look inside the housing here, there's a little notch which that's meant to sit in right there. You can see there's the little tab which it's meant to mate into. But on the AliExpress one, that's definitely not going to work because it's way too far down. So I think we're going to have to cut that tab off. Plenty of mount points for it to be. Um, solidly located so I think it'd be okay to cut those tabs off. Number of locator tabs at the top look the same. Some slight variation in the little locator pins on that on the leading edges there. But it's nothing major. Yeah so I just tried test fitting and these tabs definitely get in the way of it seating fully down so they're going to need to come off Dremel, my dodgy Dremeling job. So tabs are out. Let's see if it fits in. So four prongs at the top first. And then into the T clips at the bottom. doesn't quite fit. Okay, on the AliExpress one, I think these little tabs have got to go because they just do not line up with um, the actual mounts in the car. So they're going to get dremeled off. Okay, it's in and it's now flush. There's no gaps on the openings however I'm still not 100% happy with this because the T-clips down at the bottom here don't fully engage 
Um, so I think I'm going to need to take a little bit more material off. And also, these bolt holes totally don't line up. So that's going to need some drilling, I think, to get those to line up. And then after that, I think we can then put the bolts back in, bring them back a couple of mil, so the latch can actually ride up on the ramp and then clip in and hold it. So there, the ramps have been shortened now. Let's see if it fits. Okay, this is good. The ramps have now engaged the bolt holes that don't line up. Alright, so I made a mark as to where I think the new hole center should be. And the original hole is 5mm. Holes have been drilled. Um, the AliExpress ones, I mentioned they have that gloss black surround for the uh, air volume control. Well, it just so happens it matches up with the um, gloss black of the fascia trim. Four prongs at the top are seated in. Uh, the T clips at the bottom are now fully latched after trimming. There's no side tabs to um, hit that ledge there to stop it from fully seating anymore. And the holes have been re-drilled so they actually line up. Now disturbingly there's a massive gap between the underside of this piece of plastic and where the mount goes. So I think what we're going to need to do is find something to take up space so I can actually screw this down so I think what I'm going to use is a um, Schrader valve cap so these are the caps that you put on the valve of a um, <coughs> bike tyre or car tyre rest it in there Make a score line. And then cut it. Don't want me cutting the old fingers. So I've got my custom made plastic spacer in there now. Um, I used a dab of your favorite instant glue just to hold it in there so it doesn't fall out and the hole is slightly obscured by my homemade plastic spacer. I'm going to unwind first until I hear the first thread and then see if we can... yep, seems to be taking it and it's all the way down now, I'm not going to cinch it up too tight Yeah, that's not going anywhere. So just do that to the other side. Both of the screws, T20 torque screws went in okay. There was a little bit of resistance, but once it finds the thread, it kind of pulls its way in. Um, there's no flex now on those because it's actually cinched up against the spacer. And um, this thing shouldn't push out now. Which is good. Okay, so now the connectors are plugged in. Let's try and put this thing back in. So I bought them in. Line up the four clips. And then we've got some resistance at the top here. I'm going to have to pull up on the top piece to get it over this hump. Okay, bottom clips are in 
and the top piece in. Okay, let's just give it a final check, make sure everything's still working. So, air vents are closed, can't feel anything. Air vents open on max, I can feel air coming out, which is nice. The direction sliders are directing the air as we expect, which is also nice. Climate control panels working. And now we've got to see if the cigarette light is working. So I've got my little cigarette lighter or 12 volt port to USB, but it's also got a voltage gauge on it. So hopefully when I plug this in, it'll light up. Which it does. So, all good. And um, that's pretty much it. If you want to replace your um, air vent flap controls and you don't want to buy the original parts, this is what you do with the um, AliExpress version of it. And um, you should probably take a bit more care and um, try and choose the right one. Um, there are like 10 different versions of the same thing all at varying prices with varying um, delivery dates I think I just chose the one with the fastest delivery date that wasn't too um, expensive so um, yeah another thing fixed on the GTE so until next time take care have fun <laughs>